Growing up in rural Saskatchewan in the 1950s, shopping at the co-op was just what everyone did. A self-described co-op man, Gene Krepikavich has dedicated his life to cooperative governance. In 1980, Gene was elected as a delegate to the Yorkton Co-op, soon becoming a director. After 42 years of service, Gene retired earlier this year as president of the Board of Legacy Cooperative Association. The 80s were a tough time for the co-op movement in Saskatchewan. As stewards of the co-op for its members, Yorkton's board had some difficult decisions to make to keep their co-op viable. Gene proposed cutting management wages by 15% and freezing union wages. He worked with co-op delegates and members to ultimately negotiate a series of service cuts that would return the co-op to sustainability. These were difficult decisions, which could impact staff morale and member loyalty. But Gene was a skilled communicator and known as a fair, honest, and trustworthy negotiator. He helped guide the employees and members through the transition, seeing Yorkton Co-op prosper once more. Gene was very insistent that the membership be well informed through newsletters and whatnot. He had a special ability. He always did lots of visiting uh, in, in the grocery store at sporting events. He, he was very cognizant of, of what was going on in the community. And then on top of that, with his uh, Hail insurance adjusting. He had a very good idea of, of what the agricultural needs were. He was a great listener, uh, a great storyteller also, <laughs> but uh, uh, you know, open-mindedness uh, is important. I think when you're on a board, in a co-op board situation, um, you have to be respectful of, of the members' wishes and wants. And yet, at the same time, uh, you have to be cognizant of, of the financial aspects that might be involved. And uh, he, he was uh, very good at, at that. As president of the board, Gene excelled in his leadership role, helping the co-op navigate through all the challenges of a growing business. Gene's integrity and deep knowledge of the surrounding community enabled him to communicate openly and honestly with the membership and management. Gene's focus remained on providing value to the membership and the communities in which the co-op served. We wouldn't be what we are today without Gene and the impact that he, he has had. Um, Gene has spent 42 years on our board, um, a very integral part of developing the, sh the strategy, the governance, the being there in the hard times the good times and ensuring the continuity and strength of our organization to where it is today. Gene has had such great investment in the community, investment in our team members and the growth of this organization to make it what it is. Hockey and the Yorkton Terriers were close to Gene's heart. In the early years when the team found themselves in financial difficulty, Gene and a few friends lobbied local farmers for truckloads of grain to sell and keep the team afloat. Years later, when the Terriers were again struggling, Gene was instrumental in bringing the 1999 Royal Bank Cup to Yorkton. Gene was recognized as Yorkton Sportsman of the Year in 1990 and was inducted into the Yorkton Sports Hall of Fame in 2003. The Premier announced that Gene was a recipient of the Saskatchewan Volunteer Medal. Gene has had such an immense impact in the Yorkton community, in the Parkland community in the last 40 some years or more. Gene has led numerous initiatives. He's been part of a number of initiatives. He's, you know, forever that team player that our community needs, the Yorkton Terriers, the Heritage Mill Society, our grandstand renovations, the community college, anything that's been happening in our communities, uh, with our cooperative, outside of the cooperative, essentially Gene has been there to be part of that. Gene and his wife Gladys created the Krepikavich Fund for Families and are members of the Yorkton and District Community Foundation's First 100 Founders Club. In celebrating our 80th year anniversary, it became apparent that we wanted to do something more than just what we usually do in this community, and that seemed like a lot. But the commitment was made that we would donate $10,000 for each year, for each 10 years, of our uh, anniversary, so we are donating $80,000 to the fund on behalf of Legacy Co-op, on behalf of our membership, 
all our partners, our senior leadership teams, our management, and the board of directors. And it gives us a great deal of pleasure to be able to do this in our community, as we do in all our communities. But this fund took a special, uh, uh, I, I guess it was an acknowledgement that it's a startup in the community. We've been here a long time and we've decided to become partners with the organization. Gene was passionate about the cooperative principles and strongly believed in number seven, concern for community. Gene loved being involved with the co-op and never missed an opportunity to promote it. Well, I first met him in my wheat field when he was doing hail adjusting. He came to me and, and uh, climbed up in the combine with me and told me who he was and what he was up to. And of course, he never failed to mention that he also was on the board of directors of the co-op. He said, have you got a couple of minutes? I'll just show you what we're going to do in adjusting your hail insurance claim. Being a former teacher, of course, he did his best to educate me in the short time that we had, and I was very pleased. His parting remarks were, don't forget, think about dealing with Yorkton Co-op because it's a great organization. <laughs> Co-ops are always involved in their communities. Wherever we serve throughout Western Canada, Co-ops are known for caring for the people and their membership and the community at large. So it gives, gives us a great deal of pressure to be part of uh, being who we are, caring for people, caring for the events that take place, and for the needs of all peoples in every community. Gene's impact on Legacy Co-op, the cooperative system, and his community is undeniable. We are honored to award Gene Krepikavich with the 2022 Lifetime Cooperative Achievement Award.